And now, Rob on the Road, exploring Northern California. Ignition sequence start. These were steps seen around the world. NASA astronaut Jose Hernandez and fellow crew members walking to the space shuttle for a journey above and around the Earth. For Jose, these were symbolic steps as well, taken by the son of an immigrant farm worker who walked and worked countless fields across California. We lived a very nomadic lifestyle where we traveled nine months out of the year here in California, three different locations following the harvest of the crops. And then we would go back to my parents' hometown in Michoacan, state of Michoacan, Mexico, and cool our heels there for three months. And then that process repeated itself. So uh, imagine in one school year, you have three different teachers, three different set of friends, and then you miss three months of school because you take homework with you. Born in 1962, Jose Hernandez, the youngest son of Salvador and Julia Hernandez, worked in farm fields alongside his three siblings and parents. But a teacher noticed young Jose and decided to share a lesson from the land with Jose's father. She said, imagine you have four fruit trees in the potted plants. And she said, now I want you to plant dig four holes and plant each tree and nourish them, feed them water and fertilizer. But then every three months, I want you to dig four new holes and move those trees continuously every three months, but keep feeding them water and fertilizer as they need it. And then she looked at him and said, you're an expert in agriculture. What happens in the long run to those trees? And my dad was quick study, was quick to say, well, those trees aren't gonna grow big, you're gonna stunt their growth because you're not letting the root grow deep. He says, I doubt they'll even bear fruit. And then you can count four seconds and then, you know, you can see in his face, he got it. That lesson to Jose's father would change all of their lives. We came straight back to Stockton and, uh, and we made Stockton our home uh, year round. Our three month trips to Mexico shrank to three weeks centered around Christmas vacation, and that's when our education started to get traction. Jose was educated in Stockton Public Schools. At the age of 10, his dream of space flight took off while watching the astronauts of Apollo 17 walk on the moon on live television. He immediately told his father he too would one day be an astronaut. Now, your path to NASA was not <laughs> like that. No, 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 no. Uh, a lot of rejection came your way. Yeah, 11 times to be exact. 11 times. It wasn't until the 12th time that NASA finally accepted me as part of the 19th class of astronauts. The year was 2001, and NASA finally offered Jose an engineering job not the astronaut position he dreamed of for decades. But it was a foot in the door, and Jose left it the chance, working his way into management as branch chief of failure analysis, a skill that would soon be put to the test. On February 1st, 2003, the Space Shuttle Columbia exploded disintegrating while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. All seven crew members were killed. Jose managed the investigation into what went wrong, finding the root cause of the accident. And so, <clears throat> since I was the branch chief, I, I, I had quite a bit of exposure in that reporting process. And so the next time they had a selection uh, cycle, you know, I knew about three quarters of the selection group because they were sitting in the investigation. Wow. And so all of a sudden, you know, I became a known entity and uh, they felt comfortable with me. They saw the results that we brought in and they were happy. And uh, lo and behold, I get selected. It's about doing that next right thing in life. His life would change and fast. In 2004, Jose was selected by NASA for its space program training. And in 2009, 
Jose was on his way into space as mission specialist on the STS-128 shuttle mission, which delivered more than 18,000 pounds of equipment to the International Space Station. For Jose and the crew, it was a 15-day, 5.7 million mile journey, circling the Earth 217 times. And I finally reached the window and we're flying over North in uh, Central America. And what I saw was amazing. I mean, it sort of, kind of like, it was one of these aha moments. Because I could see North America, Canada, US, Mexico, and so on. But what struck me as so beautiful was the fact that I couldn't tell where Canada ended and the US began. No borders. I couldn't tell where the US ended and Mexico began. And I said, wow, I had to go out of this world to have this aha moment that borders are human-made concepts. Back on Earth, Jose is staying closer to home on a mission to inspire children. His message, roots do not define you. What matters is what you grow. Jose heads Reaching for the Stars, the title of his autobiography and his nonprofit. He travels the country, talking to students about pursuing dreams and careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. When I saw you talking and I saw those students lean in and they were opening up their, they really were opening up their hearts to you and you poured so much into them, you really, really do care. Oh yeah, you, you could hear a pin drop. You could, and I, that is so, um, not the norm for any speaker. Being from Stockton, I think it, they saw someone they could relate to. You gave them hope. Exactly, the, 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 uh, that's what I'm saying is that, you know, I quickly established credibility with them because I'm from Stockton, the east side, you know, socioeconomic situation, perhaps similar or worse than they can. And you're right, you know, I basically said, look, if I was able to do it, why not you? Murphy Austin Adams Schoenfeld, LLP, a business law firm celebrating 20 years of service to community, is proud to support Rob on the Road Region Rising. More information at murphyaustin.com.